Sir. Hi, hello. In this video, now we are going to learn how to prepare the Neroli. Neroli is the commercial name of the beta naphthyl methyl ether. So, for this purpose, we required three materials or three substances. First one is the beta naphthyl, and second one is the dimethyl sulfate, and third one is the NaOH solution. First of all, we have to take the three grams of NaOH solution into the mortar, like this. We have to take the beta naphthal into the mortar and uh, with the help of the fizzle we have to powder it okay na <clears throat> it is very essential to powder it otherwise it becomes very difficult to dissolve in the NaOH solution okay na so when we powder it the surface area of the substance increases so when the surface area increases the rate of the reaction increases so for that purpose we have to make it into fine powder fine powder means smooth powder okay so we have to make it in powder after powdering it, we have to take this into the uh, boiling tube. Boiling tube. Like this. It is better to take with the help of the water. But I am not, I am taking it directly. After that, here we have to take the, uh, sorry, we have to, uh, <laughs> so we have to take the NAV solution and uh, we have to add this NAV solution to the beta of, uh, sorry, beta naphthol. Beta naphthol. And after that, we have to cork it, otherwise, we have to close the test tube or the boiling tube and we have to shake it in order to dissolve it. We have to dissolve it completely. I'll cut it, cut it. Tarot the animal, I'll add them, dissolve it. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. Right, right, sir. Uh, now look here, my dears. Here, beta naphthyl is completely dissolved in the NaOH solution. After that, we have to take the 3 ml of dimethyl sulfate. It is dimethyl sulfate is a methylating agent. That means it uh, substitutes the uh, methyl group. <coughs> so we have to add the dimethyl sulfate to this uh, boiling tube, and uh, we have to shake it vigorously. It is an exothermic reaction. So be careful while doing this one. So we have to shake it vigorously and it is an exothermic reaction. So that's why we have to add the dimethyl sulfate in very small amounts. Okay now? For many times. We have to add the dimethyl sulfate to the uh, beta naphthal dissolved in NaOH solution in small amounts for many times. We will get a grayish white color precipitate that is nothing but neroline or beta naphthyl methyl ether. Look here. Here we get we got a uh, white a uh, grayish precipitate. This is nothing but neroline. Thank you. Okay, I remit. Here we go for the dairy part or principle that lies behind the preparation of the neroli. For the preparation of the neroli, we require the three materials. One is the beta naphthol or uh, two naphthol, and then we need the sodium hydroxide. Beta naphthol is this one, beta naphthol. We know very well naphthol. So if we write two beginning side by side, then that becomes the naphthol. So this type of compound are known as the fluid ring compound. So naphthol is uh, such that one. So naphthol. So if you write the uh, OH group here, that becomes the beta naphthol. Beta naphthol. This is naphthol. If you write OH here, this is beta portion. This is alpha portion. Salt of the 
sodium salt of the butanol group sodium salt of the butanol this is present in the solution to that one we have to add the dimethyl sulfate dms dms means dimethyl sulfate dimethyl sulfate if you know the sulfuric acid formula you can easily remember what is dimethyl sulfate dimethyl sulfuric acid formula is h2so4 and the structure of the sulfuric acid is like this so in the place of hydrogens uh, we have to write the methyl groups then that becomes the dimethyl sulfate and uh, here dimethyl sulfate is a methylating reagent methylating that means it provides the methyl groups so that's why we call it as the methylating reagent so whenever we add uh, dimethyl sulfate to the sodium salt of the butanol which is present in the one compass in the form of the solution uh, we get the zero in the form of the grayish color precipitate so here we get that one. and here this zero is the yeah, ether that means here we have the coc bond coc bond here yeah, this is the carbon of the alcohol and this is the carbon from the methyl so we have the coc bond or that's a compound in which coc bond is there or called as the ether so zero in is a ether and the zero is the commercial name of the beta half by the methyl ether so it is very easy to prepare this one that